Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and this video we're going to talk about stem and leaf plots. A stem and leaf plot gives a visual picture of the distribution of a set of data. You can easily find measures of center and spread from a stem and leaf plot. In a stem and leaf plot, the data are ordered, are ordered from least to greatest and organized by place value. That's very important to note. Your stem is going to be the digit to the greatest place value, like the tens, the hundreds, etc. Your leaves are the digits in the smallest place value. They're usually the ones, but sometimes you might have data that has decimals, like maybe to the tenths. So then the tenths place would be your leaves, and the ones would be your stem. Let's go ahead and make one. <clears throat> so we have a table, and this table shows the calcium per servings of vegetables. All right, we have, what you want to do is you're going to order them from least to greatest. If you look at your numbers, they're all to the tens place, okay? So we have the tens place and the ones place. So our leaf is going to be the ones place. And the stem is going to be the tens place for this particular example. So the smallest stem, you have one, 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 these are the tens place. So the smallest stem looks like it's going to be in the tens place, or a 10. So it's going to be a 1. And then you want to order all of the leaves from least to greatest that have the stem of 1. So here we have 14, so there's a 4, here's a 19, here's a 0, so that's the smallest. So I'm going to cross it off because I've taken care of this one. We have another 4. All right. So looking at the ones, I have a four, a nine, and a four. So I have two fours. Now, because four is the same, you still have to write it twice because there are two of them, because they're two different data pieces. So taking care of this four, taking care of this four, our last one is the nine. When you read this, you put the stem in front of each leaf, so the one stem with the zero leaf becomes a 10. The one stem with the four leaf becomes a 14. The one stem with the nine leaf becomes a 19. Okay, let's find our next stem. Do we have any twos? We do. We only have one. So the stem is going to be the two and there will only be one leaf which is a seven. So I'm going to cross that off. Now I'm ready to look for my stems of threes. Okay, I have a 38, I have a 32, a 38, a 34, and a 38. Okay, so now we have to put the leaves, the ones digits, in order from least to greatest. I have an 8, a 2, an 8, a 4, and an 8. So 2 is the smallest. So I cross this off. Then I have 1, 2, 3 eights, and a 4. A 4 is the smallest. And then each of the eights I have to list because there are three of them. So that takes care of my 30s. Again, to read them, you put the stem in front of each leaf. So the three in front of the leaf of a two becomes 32. A three in front of the leaf of eight becomes a 38. So our next stem is going to be a four. And there is a 40 and a 48. So put your leaves, the ones digits, in order from least to greatest. We would have a zero and an eight. So we're done with the 40s. Then we have only one 50, which is 55. So the ones digit is a five. So the leaf is a five. And then we have the 61. So this would be our stem and leaf plot. Then you always want to write a key. A key tells the person who's looking at your stem and leaf plot how to read it. So to read it, you would say for your key, you could have the one as the stem, and you see how it has a line between the stem and the leaf? So you put the line, and then put one of the leaves, zero. This equals the number 10. You could do any of the numbers. You could do the four for your key, four, and then the eight would equal 48. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you use, but that tells the person looking at your stem and leaf plot how to read it. 
Now you can also answer questions. What is the median of our stem and leaf plot? Again, median means middle, so we're looking for the middle number. So you could cross off, you could do low, high, low, high, and keep doing that, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, and you'll see that the median falls in between the 34 and 38. So if I do a number line, and this is my 34, and here's my 38, what's gonna fall exactly in the middle? 36. So the median would be 36. Now, their next question, let me erase this over here. Our next question, what is the range? Okay, so again, the range is high minus low. What's the highest number in our stem and leaf plot? Well, the highest stem is a six, the largest leaf is a one, so that makes 61 minus the lowest. What's your lowest? One zero, which is 10. And 61 minus 10 is 51, so the range is 51. What is the mode? The mode is the one that you see the most often, and it's the leaf that you see the most often. You look at your leaves. So I have two fours, I have three eights, and that's it. So the three eights are the ones that we see the most often. But the mode is not eight because this number is not eight. I have to put the stem in front of it. The three in front of the eight makes it a 38. How many vegetables were selected for the survey? Well, that means how many data pieces are there? All you have to do is count the number of leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There were 14 vegetables selected for the survey. How many vegetables had more than 35 milligrams? Well, we need to find 35. Here's my 30s. Here's 32, 34, 38. So if we had a 35, it would fall here between the four and the eight, between 34 and 38. And we wanna know how many are more than 35. So count them, count the leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These, of course, are more than 35 because they're the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. And then you just count the leaps. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Okay, so I'd like for you, we're gonna have more questions based on this stem and leaf plot. Take a look at the stem and leaf plot. How is this one different than the one we just got done doing? Ah, the stems are now two digits, right? So the leaves are still gonna be the ones place but the stem is now gonna be the tens and the hundreds place. So they go into hundreds, hundreds. And it gives you the key, 14 as a stem with two as your leaf equals 142. And since we're talking about running time, it's in seconds. All right, so we're gonna answer each question. I want you to pause the video and see if you can answer it on your own and then play it and see if you're right. How many races were recorded? Okay, did you get 20? How did you get that? All you had to do was count the number of leaves. There were a total of 20 leaves. Okay, next question. What is the median time? Remember, median means the middle. Okay, let's see how you did. Did you get 152 seconds? Okay, so you can just cross off the low, the high, low, high, low, high until you get the median, which should have been right here, 152 seconds. Which time occurred the most? You're looking for the mode. Go ahead and pause it and come back and check your answer. There is no mode, is there? Because if you look at your leaves in each row, they all appear only one time. So there is no mode. Don't put a zero, just say no mode. Okay, how many races were completed in less than 145 seconds? Go ahead and pause the video, come back and check your answer. Okay, did you get, whoops, eight races? 
First, you need to find 145 seconds. All right, so here's one, we need a one four, so we need a 14 for our stem and we need a five for our leaf. So here's our 14 stem, look for a five. There's not a five, but if there was, oops, it would be right here. And we wanna know how much are less than. So less than means it's gonna be the numbers to the left and above. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What is the range in times? What is the range in the times? Did you get 61 seconds? Remember, range means high minus low. The highest or greatest time is gonna have 18 as your stem and a three as your leaf, so that's 183 seconds. The lowest time is gonna have a 12 as your stem and the smallest leaf is a two, so that's 122 seconds. Subtract them and you get 61 seconds. Are there any gaps? So a gap means, is there any place where there is no data? Okay, even though we have a stem of 17, there are no leaves. So in order for this to be 170, you would have to have a leaf of a zero. There is no zero here which means there are no times that are in the 172nd section. So are there any gaps? Yes. No times are in the 170s. And our last question. What percent of the race times were greater than 155 seconds? Ooh, this is kind of tough. See if you can figure this one out on your own. All right, let's see. Did you get 45%. If you did, great job. If not, or if you were totally confused, let's go ahead and work this together. What percent of the race times were greater than 155 seconds? Well, first, you need to know how many race times were greater than 155. So if we had 155, it would go in here. So count all of the leaves that are larger than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there were nine. Okay, percent's gotta be out of 100. So is this nine out of 100? Are there 100 leaves here? No. We need to figure out how many leaves are there. Well, we know there were 20 races recorded because there were 20 leaves. So this is nine out of 20. But a percent has to be out of 100. So what's that scale factor? How do you turn 20 into 100? Multiply it by five. Do the same thing to the nine. And nine times five is 45. Now that it's out of 100, you get to write it as a percent. Okay, it's time for you to work on your own. Here's your independent practice.